I know it's cheap, but I still wanted to get out of it scathe free. Whew. Well, at least now our grandma won't be super ultra protective of our scars, but. Oh, damn. That was a really good haul. Oh my god. Look at all these rupees we got. Look at all the things we killed, and look how smoky it is in here. Maybe I should leave this burning submarine before anything bad happens to me. Now, we have one last thing to do, and unfortunately, um, it's replaying the curious case of Nico Case and the mystery of getting across a bunch of ropes that apparently have lamps on them. But we can always just cheap it out and use our, our Deku Leaf. From rope to leaf directly into your home, it's the best way to go because we got ourselves a good ass treasure. Thank you for materializing. I was a little worried, but nothing happened after I killed them, but that's fine. But what a what could it possibly be? After all this time and all the other chests we've collected, well, it can only be a treasure chart. Yeah, I know, it's a little disappointing, but I'm sure it'll get us something really nice. Especially when it comes to paying off that crazy map cartographer. That is not what I wanted to do at all. That was very odd. But we still made it. Yeah, for some reason, when you deco leaf into a rope, you don't grab on. You just bounce off of it, and it's really awkward. But, you know what? I'll take it. How's it going, mister? You probably didn't hear all the commotion going on in there, but that was a very weird way for me to walk in there. <laughs> um, so let's go back over to the fairy island. I was expecting to take damage there so that when we visited this place, I would heal myself up, but it looks like we're fine. So I'm glad about that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we're probably doing pretty well for ourselves here at the moment. And... It looks like good old Mr. Kaleidoscopic Eyes Man is over here. Let's see, are your eyes freaking out in this one? Yes, they are. And there's a bomb. <laughs> How's it going? Ho oh, ho! So that is how that works. Excuse me, sir. What are you talking about exactly? Oh, the submarine. I see. All right, I'm going to be a little careful and not get blown up walking in here. Or falling, I should say. Check it out. It's another great fairy fountain, and simply by visiting it, we're going to get some pretty cool things, like a bigger pouch. But for what, you might ask? Well, the answer may surprise you. <laughs> Aww. Young Waker of the Winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. Cool. Thank you. I'm glad she has the colorful motif of cotton candy flavored ice cream, because... Oh boy, that gives me the sugar chills. But with that, we got ourselves the maximum rupee allotment bag in all of the land. 5,000! So now we don't have to be skimpish on, you know, passing up large numbers of rupees. Fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. Cool. Thank you. This fountain is actually extremely out of the way, so the likelihood that I ever return here is extremely slim. But you know what? Because you offered it, I'm gonna go take a bath with some beautiful, luscious fairies. Don't worry, I'm a child. It's okay. It's innocent and fun. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I screwed it for the next person who comes through here, the next waker of the winds. Ugh. Well, that was certainly worth our time, wouldn't you say? Now, our next and final destination for these series of videos that have been going on for far too long is Windfall Island, and I think that's actually it over there. I don't have to refer to the map or anything, so let's do it. Unfortunately, it does need to be daytime for us to do most of the tasks and chores that I want to do over there, and there's still quite a lot of stuff to do there even now, and I'm not even going to be touching half the surface there, so... We'll be fine, um, but now that we've entered Windfall territory, and we've entered just the perfect amount of night for here, uh, we're going to have to use the Song of Passing, unfortunately. Not such a terrible thing, but it's something we learned, I think it might have been the last time we were here, actually. But it'll be, it'll be good for us, so let's go and cast it right here, and it's this one, I think? It's also shown on the bottom screen, but, you know... <laughs> Nice. And with that, we are not only the controller of time and space, but also of the cycles of the moon and sun. Cool. I wonder what I look like to everybody coming out here gathering their morning, uh, I guess, milk? 
I don't know. But we're gonna go leave you right there. And we're gonna go bask in the wonderfulness that is Windfall. I love this place so much. It's so great. All right, now according to my notes, it says one square southeast from Great Fairy, Windfall, give moon photo. We took a picture of the moon a really long time ago, did we not? The full moon. And if what my notes are referring to is correct, then I do believe we need to be speaking with this young man right here. I have no idea what your name is or what your sexual ambiguities are, but we're gonna go ahead and take out our picked box and speak to him. <laughs> Nobody understands how I feel. Do me a favor, break my nose. Oh wait, it already is. What a jerk, how did he manage that right under his broken nose? Cool, I was just trying to be facetious and reference Arctic Monkeys, but he's not gonna let me. <laughs> Who are you talking about, by the way? Also, look at my adorable feet physics. Especially when I'm talking to this jerk. <laughs> you pesky little brat, nobody understands how I feel. Dude, get over it. I'm gonna get there in like two years, I'm gonna dye my hair black, start wearing eyeliner, get in my Manson phase. But wait. Hmm. You would look fantastic in this burgundy I'm wearing. <laughs> yes, oh, I couldn't care less. Link could be the jerkiest ten-year-old on the face of this ocean. Oh, really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round, pale thing. Uh, show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. <laughs> and I'll acknowledge you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. What an arbitrary requirement for that. <laughs> okay, here, let me show you something very perfectly round and wide. There it is. Boom. Done and done. Let's get the hell out of here. We got it. All you had to do was turn around, my friend. Here you go. Uh, actually, let's see. Oh, yes, these pictures. Oh, there's the moon. I don't even remember when we took it, but... Ooh, I also forgot we took that one. Oh, this guy. Oh, the super tropey Indian guy. It's fantastic. God, some good memories. I remember these sets of videos. I was really happy with how they turned out. Everyone's probably just sick of this. Let's go and give him the moon. The moon. Ooh, that's right. That's certainly the pictograph I'm looking for. The full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can still find peace when I gaze at the timeless moon. And all of her faces. I love the full moon. <laughs> cool. All right. So it caused me a lot of trouble by me showing him a picture that I already had. But as a prize for easing his troubled heart, a treasure chart with some of his favorite Bright Eyes lyrics etched on the inside. Sweet. Thank you. Hmm. This supposedly has a spot on it that marks where some sunken treasure lies. Are you seeing? You're just telling me you just handed me a treasure chart that potentially has. I don't even know. <laughs> Tonight I'll be asking the night sky to help you find the treasure. Oh, that's really nice. He must be one of those moon worshippers. I don't even know what they're called, but they probably dream in Latin. Uh, we have Zanari over there. Something we'll deal with again later. But now my notes tell me, talk to Pompey and Vera. Who are these lovely bunch of ladies? She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Ooh, the everyday modern gossip of Windfall. Rumor has it, she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. By the way, this guy has the loveliest arm I've ever seen. Hmm, what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you. I've been here multiple times. Don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? As opposed to their noses, are you saying? Anyways, yeah, it looks like they're gonna start with their sexy sex in the city talk. I don't know. <laughs> so, let's talk to them again. How's it going? I clearly haven't learned my lesson, but... You know that brick building at the top of the steps? Well, the gentleman who lives there has such class! Oh, I know that mysterious pictographer. Lenzo is so dreamy. He makes my heart go a flutter. You know, he's just like kind of a creepy old dude who lives in a house of pictures he took himself. I mean, that's pretty narcissistic of him, right? To have all of his own pictures on the wall. <laughs> but do you think the rumors are true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? He's too serious about his work. <laughs> He'll never get out of his basement. His YouTube channel won't ever get above 5,000 subs. Nah, so they are very curious to see if this man has a lady in his life. And we will go and determine that right now. But to get up there, let's see. We're probably going to need to head in here back 
to Salvatore's creepy, creeptacular cross-dressing game shop. It's very odd. Unless he has, like, a twin brother who's equally been incarcerated for revealing himself. Voyeurism. Cross-dressing in public. I don't know. I feel like you can't really make that joke anymore. It's not even a joke. It's just something you say to be silly, you know? I don't know. It's just one of those things. Anyways, I'm going to go and take a ride on here on the edge without a seatbelt. I get so excited about it, too. <laughs> but yeah, we just got to wait. And eventually we will be making this trip once again. But these seem like the most unsatisfying Ferris wheel of all time. I mean, you got hard wooden seats and nothing to keep you safe. Nah, it's fine, though. We don't really care. We're small children and we love living on the edge. So this is something I wanted to do last time when it was Everlasting Light, our, our darkness, and back when we got the bombs, but the game wouldn't let us because, well, for some reason it was just rude and didn't want us to. So we're going to head in here now and see what lies on the top floor of this man's secret crazy love, I mean picture dungeon. Oh, hello. So I'm going to go and toss all these. Hooray! And actually, oh damn it, I was going to do 666. The number of the alleged beast and there we go quite a lot of rupees you can collect here and also two chests <gasps> we're robbing this asshole blind man i'm telling you -na 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 -na. we got a treasure chart hooray this will all make sense in the future i promise <sighs> but i'll probably end up montaging the collection of all of them so don't get your hopes up and with that we also have a purple rupee so that's nice we are going to, I think at this point, uh, start bartering with this man for specific pictographs. He wants to pay ludicrous amounts of money for us to purchase legendary photographs. And this is something that um, I believe now we can get started with, but it's something that we can definitely do to add to our collection back on uh, in the Forest Haven and the legendary collection of things. I really need to rewatch some earlier episodes of this series. But what we want to do is hop out from over here, be very careful because, as you would have guessed, he's got some company! So what we can do is just go slowly. We can't use our pictograph from here, but we'll still take a nice, nice photo of them speaking with gyroscopic aiming. There it is, nice. And if we try to sneak any closer, well, first, there we go. <laughs> Allow me to think. Ah, yes, I first started searching for pictographs that recorded true beauty. Oh boy, is is this the Zelda equivalent of uh, of casting couch? Because if it is, I don't think I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, hell, no minors allowed. Let me see your ID. Uh oh, what do you have in your hand? Are you spanking her with that? <laughs> Trying to give me a heart attack. Cool. So you can still take a picture of them looking at you like this. And um, I already forgot their names. Vera and Pompey. They will still accept it. But I like doing it when they're not looking. Because it's kind of funny. Oh, he's going to smack me in the face. Now that I think about it. Just how did you get in here? Why, I never even noticed you. It's like, well, you locked me upstairs. So don't even try playing ploy, good sir. <sighs> What? I'll have you know, I've only come here to to have him take a pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. Wait, aren't you that lady that I took a picture of way back on our first visit here and you used it to pin up to the inside of your door? Hmm. I've been a huge fan of pictographs for a long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely banging. Let's get out of here. We got all the evidence we needed. It's just a good thing that my man Lenzo didn't take off his goddamn shirt because I would probably have been traumatized for the rest of my 10-year-old life. Hello, ladies. I've got something to show you. There you go. They are about ready to go down on each other. Oh, this is... <gasps> this is actually a hilarious conversation. Lenzo and the picograph loving lady. I guess we were completely wrong about Lenzo having a girlfriend. Actually, no. I would argue strongly that this would solidify the theory that they are indeed boning each other in his place of employment. It looks as though they're just old friends who happen to share the same hobby. Exactly. That's how it starts. <sighs> Thanks for setting us straight, young man. We should really stop spreading idle gossip like that. Uh, so we taught these old ladies the error of their gossiping ways and they're going to give us something nice. Stick out your hand. Let me lift up my skirt. 
Just kidding. Okay, you got a treasure chart. Nice. I feel like we've got a ton of those. My naughty little boy found this somewhere. I'm sure you're like, you have a son? And you're out here talking with good old... I think you're Vera. Not Farmiga. Otherwise, I don't even know what to tell you. But we're going to head up here. And the last thing that I want to do on Windfall before moving on is speak to the very presumptuous uh, school teacher. Miss Marie, hi, you're not who I thought I was going. Actually, that's gonna be some very odd editing. Um, We do wanna talk to Linzo when he's behind his little counter here because, ah, uh, young Ellison, our picture is not the most divine of creations. You know it is true, my young sir. You two must snap and snap and snap pictographs until you, like me, finally arrive at the very pinnacle of pictography. Okay. Um. Are we supposed to have a conversation about something else, I thought? Um, or did I screw up? Okay. When I practiced this six months ago, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to get a legendary pictograph here, but he was probably not very pleased with the fact that I, uh, you know, did the thing where <laughs> I, I snuck him on them talking. Also, let's get rid of this. Also, oh man, I forgot to mention this completely, but in the time between this video and the last, well, I guess the last session, if you try to send out a tingle body, bo a tingle body, a tingle bottle out to sea, you get the most depressing message, the Miiverse virus has ended. It's such a bizarre thing. Thank you for your interest, support, and yeah, all that information. It's so sad, but you know what? It had to be done. Anyways, 